Kasunda bad. As a 
more want to go sasan If you're ready, girl, you know I'm ready I'm ready, Wendy, if you're ready If you're ready, Sana, I'm ready Yo, you're ready, know me ready when you're ready, di Jagalang kutwale kumu kwa na kedi, di Tukate like butter and bread, di Panku wee tukole butter tread, di Wobon chakalanga, Wendy, Wendy, Gundi Wendy, girl, Zimbanga, Fundi The way you when you bust my brain I wanna be with you again. Send me leno, mommy. What the call your body? Take gonna pull up the love, take your mobile body. Meet the fake daddy. Go to the spot, mommy. Come up on to go start. You know the black boy come no the form. Move for me, boy, I yeah, shake your bum bum. Bend your waist, make a feel a ring tan. Boy, me, I like it when you do that, I get on. Dotty, dotty, go, let's do. Oh, the dan dan, oh, my bummy, Joe. Take it easy, you go break my bone. Hey, I go rock your body when you enter my son. I'm 
girl up by the If you think me give her in the show, me touch it on yeah. Oh no man, I am cooler. It's what I think, yeah, 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 yeah. Mutu mo butu te mo wido, o wudu na gabe ila isinga tunda filo. Ndi me chu wa kamula kamula, hi me do. Ndi butu na te beka wete. Ya, karo bere wa no tova mo sai. Kiri za ni rongo baby wange ye go right. Pachi ja na mo de shudo ne mo sata fai. Bala mo ne baka me ndo ka mi yon bali. Bidi bidi bi la de fire no. Give me fire woman I need your body no. No ni bidi bidi bi ji bola di ronado. Ono brush my ya baby like you come a tornado. Yo, 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 what's Jeez. going on, what's going on? You know it's Friday, so you know it's Kampala Drive here on TGM Radio UK, sponsored by Afro Vibes Limited, and today's going to be such a dope show because we've got a special, special guest, or guests, plural. Yes. <laughs> it's your boy Melinda the Fourth, you already know who it is, I'm joined by obviously DJ Ivan. I'm, I'm so uncomfortable. Why? I, I'm not used to this. <laughs> because you're on our level today. <laughs> eh? You're on our level. You're not overstanding I'm, I'm us. I'm sweating. Sweaty palms and all that. No, nah, no, nah, you good. You good. I see you with the shades on. You're looking good. Uh, we are joined by the one and only, the Ugandan babe, you know, superstar DJ and her sister, Hi Sheila guys. K. Hi. Guys, I'm excited, eh? We're excited to be here. It's exciting. It's like uh, it's like New Year's Day. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you just shut down Shady Mixtape Party. You know what I mean? Like, and now you're gracing us here. Like, how was that for you? Do you know what? It was amazing. I was scared because. Why? Been, do you know what it is? I've been to Shady's Mixtape. Yeah. As a guest. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not on stage. Mm -hmm. So when I got on there, and I was like, okay, I'm really DJing for real. Like for real, for real. It's like, oh, for one, but it was amazing. And your name was in lights. I know. I was like, I'm a star. <laughs> <laughs> it was amazing because I had my sister there and I was like, okay, this is really I cool. like you two, you know, together. I feel like it's cute. Thank like, you. how did that start anyway? Like, okay. did, was she always by your side when no. you're DJing? Or? So initially I started off YouTube. So I used to do like, I just started doing a reaction video for Chameleon's video. Okay. Just one random day. And then it popped off on YouTube and I was like, oh, this is sick. Uh -huh. And then my sister came around like the week later and I was like, I'm about to film like a reaction video. Do you want to like join? Okay. She was like, okay. She was ready, so she was like, okay. And then we did it together, and it went viral like everywhere. So I was like, okay, people really like us together. So, like, uh, do you want to do this with me? And then uh -huh. it just happened. Yeah. And I feel like she's like my comfort blanket. Uh, so when I'm on stage, I don't have anxiety. So she's there. Yeah. Aww. But that's how that happened. Yeah. Do you guys? Do you guys have like a name? We actually don't. We you got a name. You don't. No, you don't you think. Should get a name, right? Mm. So you, by, you, you should just add an S to Ugandan babe. <laughs> yeah. Ugandan babe. Ugandan babe. No, actually, I think we need to. Uh, we I'm, need to I'm, trademark I'm that. I'm gonna come for, yeah. for yeah, my yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 nah. You need to trademark that, Ivan. <laughs> Literally, I just came up with that in a second. So. <laughs> Royalty shooting up. Ugandan babe. We have to contract or something. I don't know. So you you just talked about uh, reaction videos. Yes. Yeah. So tell me the story about DJing. Mm. Okay, so DJing, how it started. Um, when I was in high school, we used to have like a youth club after school. We'll just go like, just not to be in trouble after mm. school. Those are not there and anymore. Then... Yes, we know. <laughs> mm. It's a shame. The good old days. <laughs> so um, yeah, so there was this DJ that would always come in, like they'll pay for his services and he'll come in just to teach us. And I was like, let okay. me just try this out for fun. Maybe like, you never know. So I did it, and it was like fun and that, and then I left it. Like I was just like, okay, this is not for me. Yeah. Then I got to college, and I was like, okay, I'm really into music, but mm. what can I do if I'm like that into music? I can't rap, I can't sing. You've tried so, both, eh? I've tried both. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not great. <laughs> so I was like, okay, what can I do? So then I'd come home, and I'd be on virtual DJ on the computer. Like She literally has videos of me. Yeah, from oh. my cheek back in the day. That's so dope. Try the DJ thing again, and I was like, okay, maybe I should take it serious. And then it just happened. Like it, it when? Just happened. When? How how long have you been DJing? Okay, so I started off practicing. I'd say October twenty twenty one. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. You're lying. Long. It's no. not been long. 
It hasn't been long. Everyone says that. Are you sure? It's not been long. It hasn't been long. Everyone says that. Are you sure? It's not been long. You just performed for how many people? Like, there was over 800 people there, and you only started in October. October. Like, I started practicing October, practicing, practicing, and then someone reached out to me from Milan, and they were like... Milan? Yeah. I really like your vibe. I want you to fly out and just do a set for Afrobeats, because I love Afrobeats. I can tell. Mm. And then that happened, and then obviously Uganda got wind of my content in Italy, and they were like, we need to book you as soon as you come here. Then I DJ'd for Chop Live. Yeah, I saw you at Chop Live. And then Shady happened. I was like, this nah, Ivan, you listen to this. Some mm-hmm. people have been DJing for years and not even reached I that swear, level. But I, I think sometimes it's the vibe that you give up. Yeah, right. Because and and that thing that you say, people DJing for years and I've been listening. This is the first time I'm actually listening. Mm. On side, I was enjoying. Mm. Now I'm listening at, at the, the the transitions. I'm like, mm. she's dope. She's dope. Because I know people who are... <laughs> they struggle on transitions. Just trust me. And they've been in clubs and they've been like places. Mm. So that's that's really good. So how come... Were you not at the youth club as well? No. Those days. Okay. I that's why you didn't DJ. No. <laughs> but you know what's crazy? Yeah. If, like a snap in Uganda, like five years ago, I put up my Snapchat, I want to bec- I want to DJ. But I never went through with it because I just thought... I'm trying what to get her to like, learn how to So, yeah, why don't you just... Because she, I like, am. helps yeah. with the sounds I, and stuff, but I just want I just to... I see you over-touching the controls. <laughs> 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 I just help with the basics. She's like, but okay, yeah. this is the effect we need. Yeah. Right yeah. And then she... Okay. Yeah. And I think what helps as well, yeah, is you two, when you're the, you got the vibe, you're not just standing That's there. Everyone you're both dancing. I get... We listen, dancing. I'm not the biggest fan of... Am, is it Am a Piano? Am a Piano. But your set, I'm not going to lie, they always get me moving. Thank you. You know what I mean? Because you lot are there, talking about vibe, you're well. giving the vibe, you know what I mean? So, yeah. how did you pick the name, Ugandan Babe? <sighs> Sounds simple, but you must have... Do you know what? It was... It's always a random night in my room mm. when I'm just thinking about life. Um, <laughs> so, I was online and I was like on Megan Thee Stallion's page. Mm. And she had like a video and she was just... She had energy on stage. I was like, well, this is Megan Thee Stallion. And then I was like, you know what? I should change my Instagram name. Like, I'm mm. Ugandan. And not a lot of people believe I'm Ugandan. Mm. Which is kind of like... What do they think you are? Caribbean. Oh. And it's like, it, it's annoying. So I'm like, okay, I should get like a name where it's like, I don't have to explain where I'm from anymore. So I was like, okay, Megan, this stallion's on stage. Okay. V. Then I'm on Instagram again, and I'm on a rapper's page. I've already done. I don't know yeah. if you've heard of her. And I'm like, okay, she reps her country in her name. So mm. I was like, I was like, the Ugandan girl. And I was like, that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, what do like people call Ugandan girls? Because they're like, the Ugandan babe. You know that Ugandan babe? Mm. So then I randomly said it out loud. I was like, the Ugandan babe. It was. I was like, that's it. <laughs> I literally changed my Instagram name. It was like midnight. I changed it straight away. What was it before? It was like my name. Oh, okay. Name okay. <laughs> that was very bait. So Tell me that. something. Have you been in a situation where people have been talking? Say Luganda, yeah. thinking that you you're not Ugandan. It happened throughout our whole trip in Uganda. Is it? Whole trip, yeah. Because you guys can speak Luganda, yeah. I, we literally speak yeah. Luganda. Okay. Like, <laughs> you got you're allowed to speak Luganda here, by the way. Yeah, by the way. By the way. But take it in, take it in, take it in, take it in, take it in. No, but yeah, I have been in those situations where people literally. I remember this one time we're getting our hair done. And the hairdresser in Luganda was like, Chido was a tata wa we muzungu. Ah. I was like, I was like, no, he's not. She was like, oh, oh I'll take it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That was but, a bit awkward. Okay, okay. Yes. so you came in quick. Very yeah. quick. Was it because it's, uh, obviously it was about you. Yeah. So you didn't want them to continue? Yeah, because I was like, I mean, how are you getting this theory that my dad is white? Mm. And he just asked me, like, you know. Mm. So no, it's been a lot of situations. You know what? Yeah. I, I, I was once on public transport. And this lady was on the phone. Mm. Many times, I, I I I want people to know that I understand what they're talking about, <laughs> so they don't go deep. Yeah, but yeah. this conversation was like it, it was sad because it was it it was a relationship that had gone bad. Oh. So the guy was on the phone, on the other side. Obviously, the lady was saying, "I cannot come back to you." Bambi. But there had been violence involved. Oh. Yeah. So the woman, uh, the guy was like. The guy wanted the girl back, and the woman was like, 
Neda neda si so wala kuda mo kubera na wadudi wali on this I'm like damn oh, I don't want to laugh but and so <laughs> now I want to listen to more I, I wasn't going to reveal myself so right. all throughout the journey she was just talking and talking and talking said neda 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 so wala kubera mo nyumba yemunga temuli mo untumulala wali on this tango kute mbulago I'm like what that's deep that is very deep but yeah I mean those situations are quite funny. Did you say oh. it? No, no, I, I couldn't. Yeah, I, I couldn't because now I wanted to. I, 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 I now turned FBI. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know who this guy is yeah. that's out here beating women like this? Now, yeah, it's, it's happened to me a lot on the 53. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you don't know that bus, but that bus is full of Ugandans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? And yeah, I just, I'm not going to lie, I sit there and enjoy the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. That bus is business. so <laughs> bait. It's so bait. I was once on that bus. I was working somewhere in Knightsbridge, so that bus comes all the way from El, uh, what's it? Uh, New Cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. Past uh, Woolwich. Past a club, KFC. KFC. Mm. Now it gets those KFC people. Yeah. I joined the bus later on. They're already on the bus. There's these two drunk guys chatting all manner of business, <laughs> rude stuff. How they're gonna pick up. Oh, Hose oh. at Trafalgar. Can you imagine? But there's so many Ugandans on that bus. These guys don't realize. On, but they, then there's knows. a woman in a hijab. Because uh-huh. I know her because she was from my area. Uh-huh. They, they <laughs> was she Ugandan, yeah? She was Ugandan. Oh. And the guys like go like, whatever, no, no, hajatin zen. So they went. It was so rude. And I, I just turned them. Like, just that. to tell them, guys. <laughs> Kakana. Man, the, the, the words they said about the Hajjat. Uh, poor Hajjat. Yeah, that bus is, wow. Those were the days. Has, have you had a, had a mad situation where someone spoke Luganda not knowing? Mm, not really, but it was a funny situation in Uganda when we went clubbing. Mm-hmm. And I must have been at the bar trying to get a drink. And I gave the bartender my money. Mm. And obviously thinking, yeah, she doesn't know Luganda. Mm. Not from Uganda. I'm not going to give her her change. I and I that. gave him my money and I was just standing there and he was just looking at me. I said, Sebo, <laughs> change you one, Kariwa. Like, Njagara, change you one. He was so shocked. He was like, okay, yeah, Nenda Mufu, na Mukue. But that like, stuff like that, mm. like, why do you have to do that? Like, but that's that's like mad, because to me, when I first came across you guys online, you looked Ugandan to me. Like, it didn't, right? I never thought, oh, too, because I've got a sister, she's mixed race, right. but she's like black mixed race, if you know what I mean? Like, she's yeah. darker. So for me, I've grown up in that. I'm not really like um, ignorant in that yeah. sense. So I don't see why people look at you lot and not think. I don't know what it is because there is actually like different tones of black. Yeah. But even in Uganda, like. Even in, yeah. Like, you yeah, know. but you've got to understand it mm. from a Ugandan in Uganda. Mm. Okay. And if they hear you speak English, they think, or even if you speak Luganda, because you're going to speak it different anyway, right. mm. they'll think you you. The, the easiest word that comes to them is Muzungu. Mm. Yeah. You see, even if you're dark, <laughs> <laughs> not even Muchota, they will call Muchota. you Muchota. still Muzungu. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, muvab- what is Muvabulaya? Muvabulaya. Yeah. Musama. Musama. Oh, I, hate, <laughs> I, hate, I hate that Banasama Musama word. I hate, I, hate I don't it. like it. I mean, I don't help myself because I really act like one. No, yeah. Because <laughs> when I'm there, I, I can't help it. I don't get border borders. I don't get taxis. No. No, all that no. stuff. No, but that. I'm still not Musamavu, man. <laughs> you know what? Is that the one you, you, you really, really hate? Musamavu. Yes. Because Musamavu means something else. What, what does that mean? Because I, my cousin told me that when they say Basama, that's what they really mean. It's true. Abasamavu. True. Musamavu now is somebody... It's like a, a scatterbrain. Mm. Like you... Basically, scatterbrain. So we're scatterbrains. That's what they're looking at. Mm. They don't rate us. <laughs> they don't wow. rate us. That's embarrassing. But we, we will show them. But we're trying to put you gun on the map. And we're and going to. We're and I'm loving to. what you guys are doing. Thank so you. back to the DJing. Yeah. What is your favourite genre? To Afro do? Afrobeats. Afro yeah. I just love Afrobeats. It's a different sound every single time you mm. hear a song. Just, it's a vibe. You know, it just makes me feel good about myself as well. Does a DJ need to have a genre or should a DJ be able to DJ for all audiences? How does it work? I think we're about professional. Seeing, like, given like the Mapiana have their own sound, I feel like you can have your own sound. If you want to do Afrobeats, you can have Afrobeats. If you can do hip hop, do hip hop. So right now I'm specializing in Afrobeats because that's what I know and that's what I love, genuinely. I, I'm into hip hop, 
But me being honest, I feel like hip hop makes me sad. Is that weird to say? Really? What about it? I mean, if you listen to people like Juice World and stuff, maybe. Yeah, like little Dirk and Little Baby. Like yeah, Little Dirk. Oh. But like, genuinely, when I sit down and understand their lyrics, mm. I'm like, this yeah. is not it. Yeah, like, them I'm lyrics, like, I'm not going to lie. They're, they're having you depressed. Yeah, it's mean? depressing. Like, I sit down, I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking about Is it, like it hip hop in general or new school hip hop? I think new school hip hop. Mm. Definitely. No, you're right. Because back in the day, like listening to yeah, Mace was, and Diddy and them yeah, lot, yeah, you don't want to get out. Like now it's all about killing your ops it's, it's, it's and like smoking yeah, them in blood. <laughs> uh, the the famous party starter by Fatman Scoop. Mm. Who, who doesn't like that? Right? So that kind of music was. You're right. You know that music's not really about it's not. anymore. I mean, they tried to sample it, and it's it's, it's not, working. not working. And everyone's trying to go viral on TikTok. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It's like a disease now. You need to to. I think there's a rush to make it nowadays. Yeah. And everything, so there is. you need to go viral, make the the dance challenges and all that. Right. So you know you did that top life, so I'm, you know Sheila, right? Yeah. She's a friend of yours. So did you see what she posted today? No. So she posted, Ugandan DJs, we love you, but make it a culture to stay home sometimes <laughs> and listen to fresh music and update your playlists. We are tired of listening to the same sets every time you step on your controllers. You guys are playing the same music because you're either lazy to do research or you're too busy. She's right. And I think she's right. She is right. She is right. <laughs> guys, I love right. Ugandan DJs. I'm not here shading any DJ, but when I was there, I could tell you what song was coming next. As in you go hop from bar to bar and it's the same set, same set. Same set. what you do, don't get me wrong, but mm. it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's why when I played at Chop Live, I was like, do you know what? I'm not... I'm not gonna play what they think I'm gonna mm -hmm. play. I jump straight in with UK music, and I'm playing UK music. Everyone's just like, "What is that?" Is that UK? What kind of UK? Is that UK Afro Afro swing. Okay. And mm. I'm playing it, mm. and it's like only the UK people vibing. Mm. I'm like, well, how are you gonna know new music if you don't yeah. get introduced to it? You know? mm. But that is, I think that's true. So as a yes. DJ, do you think about that? Because what if you have this fire set and you've played it here at TGM, but then we book you at King's Bull? Do you not want to take that well, fire TGM set is with not you? Mm. To understand different people come out every, like different days, you know. I feel like you just have to read the crowd. Mm. Honestly, read the crowd. Not, of course, it's what type of music you like to a certain extent, because mm. like you just need to get everyone vibing. Yeah. yeah. What you like is not what someone else might like. You don't know that, you know. So yeah, I, I think she's right, definitely. Well, she's in right. in terms of Uganda, don't you think <clears throat> it's partly because they they've got so many gigs, like mm. there's two two many places to play that's that true. the so music's got to be the same that's true that is true i think so but still it doesn't stop you from going out your way to make research about what's popping what's new you know but then okay so to his point yeah so you played uk music mm -hmm. you had a couple uk people going crazy mm -hmm. other people weren't so much what if that for some djs that that scares them so that mm, let me just play the safe songs that i know will get everyone up like how do you overcome that fear of no one turning you know up. What? There was actually a DJ that said it to me. I think it was DJ Ebweezy. He mm. said, if there's that one or two people dancing, you're doing your thing. Is it? Yeah, okay. Like 100%. So for me, it's like, not everyone's going to dance, mm. okay, but I'm still introducing you to new music that you might Shazam in the corner, like, oh my that's God, true. That's like, true. That's yeah. true. I don't know it now, but I'm going to know it tomorrow. No, that's true. So for me, it's like, if I've got like a, you know, handful of people dancing, I'm doing my thing. That's no, you're right. Does, you yesterday, I was at an event and they played Monica. Um, what's, that, what's that song Monica sings? And she's wearing them, 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 them shoes on the pavement. She wears a lot of shoes. <laughs> no, but back yeah. in the day. The oh, old Monica. The old Monica, okay. that big oh, song. Um, oh, guys, don't do this to me, guys, please. You gotta give me so something to work ago. with. Okay, <laughs> guys, all right. <laughs> um, 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 don't take it personal. I just. Uh -huh. But they did it on piano. Right. Everybody was shazamming that. I just saw Bear Shaz. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, everyone's first wearing their hair like just shazamming it. And I was like, yo. And it, so I hear your point on introducing people to new music, exactly. like, but I used to DJ back in my day, you know. Um, really? Just gonna oh, put, DJ Marvin. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, DJ Melinda in the place, but not not as much. Like I used to DJ at weddings. Okay. But the reason why I didn't go further was because I just didn't have the time to do the research. I feel like as a DJ, you need to stay, keep your ears Literally. on the ground, innit? Do you know what I mean? All the time. So how much time do you invest in that? All of my time, like I work a nine to five, and mm. after my nine to five or before my nine to five, I'm on my way on the train. I'm on Spotify, I'm on Apple Music, I'm on TikTok. You know what? 
people bash TikTok a lot, but it helps mm. get music out there. Like it genuinely. Does it? Cause it I does. like so me I have we'll talk about this. Remember that that song, Take Me to the Moon? Oh, yeah. I really liked it before it blew on TikTok. Now I hate it. I absolutely because you hear it a lot. Yes. yes. Too much. Isn't that what music's about? Like, yeah. You're gonna <laughs> yeah, hear it. You're gonna hear it. But I get what you mean, it does get rinsed out. Oh my gosh. No, I get it. Even but... that Kanye song, it can always be night. Nice. You may as well. Such a good song and <laughs> you know what's crazy? I've never heard the original because I've always listened to see? TikTok. See? One. And I'm like, oh my god, this is how it sounds. So those are the perils of TikTok. Like I get it, TikTok mm. puts songs out there, but sometimes eh, it's necessary yeah. evil. It can over ruin. It can. It can. Yeah. So like researching songs, like how do you cause like we had Kalunji Fresh here two weeks ago, I think. Yeah. And he spoke about how a lot of DJs, Ugandan DJs, don't play his songs here, right? So how do you decide, ah, oh, yeah, it's a new song, I'm going to play Is it how many views it's got? Is it whether you like the song? Um, for me, it's about, number one, if I like the song. Because genuinely, I'm not going to play something I'm not feeling. Because okay. you see my set, I'm dancing. You are, music. yeah. So if now you see me playing a song and I'm like, mm. you're going to be like, what's she doing? Because you're so <laughs> used to me. Dan yeah. So it's definitely about if I like the song, the reaction it's getting in crowds, like online. And just genuinely about the person, like their background, and because the person could have like a wax song, mm. but then this song comes out and it's like, oh, all right, it's a okay. Nice song. And the way they're pushing themselves, I'm like, okay, they genuinely care about the song, so you know, let me see what it's saying. Have you ever taken a song to your sister to play and she's like, no, I don't like it? Um, have I? Have you? Yeah, because you know what? My sister sometimes doesn't like a bit of Ugandan music. I'm like, she don't. Just, no, just some, just them. some songs know, you when like you listen to it. <laughs> Give me no. a song now. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to get cancelled. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put it on the last. Well, yeah, no, <clears> do you know when you listen to a song the first time and you're like, mm, mm, and the second time, mm, and then you start hearing it? Case in point, me myself here. A couple of Eddie Kenzo songs, especially the the, the, the recent ones, I'm thinking, oh, Eddie Kenzo, really? Mm. But then our colleague here, uh, Richie, mm. he's oh. over the moon. He's like, this <laughs> is the one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it's just different ears. Mm. Yeah, it's different like sound. Really yeah, but, like but it, so you know? sometimes music just grows on you. So yeah, the exactly. more you play it. Exactly. All right, cool. Listen, we're here. It's Kampala Drive. You know, it's Friday. We're getting your weekend started. We're here with Sheila K and the Ugandan Babe, superstar DJ. We're going to go to a quick break and we'll be back shortly. Turn up, turn up. 
vibes on vibes that we burn up, burn up. Yeah. Where the party at? I'ma run up, burn up. Going all night long till sun up, sun up. Uh, going off like a rocket launcher. Yeah. It's the vibe, yeah, you like it, don't you? Yeah. Take it, take it, do it for the culture. Yeah. Belly can't fly, I don't like no vulture. I got a culture. When I come to, it's over. I'm a soldier, big range like a rover. I'm a roller, big time shot caller. When you see me in the club, you can come holler. Like, we're here to turn up, what to do? Uh, I just wanna kick it with a crew. Uh, top of the world, what a view. Pretty girl next to you, tell her she can come to you. Like, Batty, I'm stop, Batty. Every two sun you summon you be bow. Oh, 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 From above, we are under. Baby, I got a mini rock. To get it to the money, love. We can't get enough. Baby, you go to the palace. Baby, you get it, my love. Every time I see my little dog, I see some man you can't believe my love. Among the many, you above. Wine for me, no order for my bow. Take time, go to the mukaya. Hands up, while I have the legs. Go to the baby, go to the corner, come in. Twenty to party, to party, to 
twende tupate tupate twende tupate tupate twende tupate tupate twende tunyonyere tunyonyere tugenda tunyonyere tunyonyere tugenda tunyonyere tunyonyere tugenda tunyonyere tunyonyere tana mubaka se ntiyo lwalero sostede Come here 
to play no game. Rata no me gun drive it. Every dog will fool and we'll say, eh, eh, eh. Beyond color wins as a misery. Nadia Mutuza Tu 
de ya kutia kala Teli bitu vya kutwe fasa Na tuku wapate Kwe tuku wapate Pa 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 te Kwe tuku wapate Pa 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 te Parting is the moon Everybody move your body See, it go my back to back And we're back, we're back. That was the sound of the Ugandan babe, always shutting it down as per usual. Um, also joined by Sheila K. So back to the conversation. Obviously, you're a DJ, yeah. a female DJ, in a male-dominated industry. Yeah. How was, first of all, did you always, did you consider that? Were you like, oh, it's going to be hard for me? Or did you not care when you were getting into it? Um, initially, I didn't care because I don't really care what I do when I'm getting into something. But when I went to Uganda is when it hit me. I was mm. like, okay, this is for real. Like, mm. you're in a female, like, you're a female, sorry, predominant in, like, a male-dominated industry, so you need to find respect and get respect. Mm. So when I got there, luckily, like, I do have, like, male DJ friends, so it was, like, easier because okay. I could still see that gap, like, oh, she's a girl, whatever. Because mm. I'd get to gigs and it's like, my, my set is not ready. But then the male set is ready. Mm. And I have to then speak up and be like, hi, um, my thing's not ready. So, yeah, I'm starting, I'm now starting to see, like, the gap. But it's, like, it's something I need to get used to. And I, I want to change that, especially for, like, Ugandan females. There's not a lot of Ugandan female DJs. There isn't. So, yeah. Um, are there cases where you had to put your foot, stamp your foot on the ground and say, don't, you know, don't take the liberties with me? I think my managers had to do that. <laughs> Let's talk to the manager. Is she a tough, is she a tough manager? In yeah, the bio. I have to be. You're in the bio. Yeah. Because she's the soft one. So okay. like in Uganda, like sometimes when she would get booked, people, because I have a policy. If you're going to book her, put a deposit down, especially in Uganda, because some people, they don't like they to don't pay, pay. Mm. on time and stuff. Get a call. So um, I had to put my foot down with certain people, big names in the industry. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, don't take the mic because we're from London, to Tumanyi, everything, mm. like how Uganda runs, runs yeah. and stuff, just because we're females and we're new to this and stuff. So I had to put my foot down. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. and has it always worked out in your favour? It favor? always works out. It always works and out with her because she's scary. She's more scary than me. <laughs> no, 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 Lisa, I'm not even going to lie to No, do you know what? It's, it's because when I'm talking business, I have this tone and I'm Ooh, serious. Seriously. So it's like, yeah, and she's the soft one. Yeah. Da, da, da. So when people go to her, she's like, no, book her through me. Mm. So I uh, have, have you rejected any bookings? Oh, yeah. Somebody's playing up. Yeah, yeah. A, a hundred. We, we, oh, we um, got weird bookings. You we had one? so many weird bookings in Uganda that I had to shut it down. Not every, yeah. It's not about money. Some people Sometimes. just wanted pretty girls. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I mean, you are very yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I mean, oh, you are. Self love. Yeah, <laughs> and I wanted pretty girls at the party. And I was yeah. Like, no. How did some, you know that? Because, like, so she had a gig at um, Atmosphere one yeah. time. And her set was really good. So Abazungu, Abasaja down there. What, real Bazungu, yeah? Real yeah. Bazungu, okay. Bazungu, mm -hmm. Bazungu. Mm -hmm. And um, they sent some girls over and they were like, oh yeah, like we want to book you for a party, house party, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, okay, I'll take your information. Mm -hmm. And the second girl comes saying, oh no, they want to 
know if you guys have boyfriends and yeah. stuff. And, and I was like, like I think we've got quite the number. Yeah. They, oh, they want to know if you can then stay the night. Then stay the night after. Yeah. after yeah. Overnight yeah. booking. Yeah. Okay. Overnight, overnight, like, <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours. Wow. You know? After party. After, after party. party. Uh-huh. After the party. After uh-huh. party. After 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 party. But it is, again, it's the entertainment industry. It People will try it. And yeah. it so what, that's normal, yeah? I'm not s- saying it's normal. Because mm. there's not so many female DJs. Mm. And on the Ugandan side, the, the female DJs I've seen, they, they really look tough. Mm. Here, we only have you and Tana. Actually, is Rousey not a DJ? And Rousey, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think those are the three that I know. Yeah, but they all lovely, more. soft. Yeah, mm. we need more female Ugandan DJs. Honestly. So, okay. as her manager, Stern, how did that relationship start? Was it just from the get-go? Yeah, you're my manager, or did she have to have an interview? I <laughs> 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 I wish I mean, but do you I mean, lot have contracts, you know? <laughs> we were here with Kalunji Fresh, and he mentioned that he did a song with his brother, mm-hmm. and he mm-hmm. made the brother sign a contract. Yeah. They always do, should yeah, yeah. Do you, like, should we do that? I, I, I'm not trying to cause issues. <laughs> <laughs> I look at it. The man is looking at me like, mommy don't know so I'm not trying to cause issues. I'm just here asking questions. Um, I don't know. I think because we've grown up like together, together and she's like always this. been mm. the older sister that's telling me the final say. So that role just kind of manifested oh, into mm-hmm. the Yeah, it was just, natural. It was just yeah, natural, just yeah. Like, oh, yeah, she's my manager. She's my manager. Mm. And then it just happened. Yeah. So, do you feel like, do you, have you taken any courses on management or is it just vibes? Like, we just. No, I am actually a social media manager. Come on, okay. Yeah, so, so now I come and you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You say, well, I okay. actually know my job. Yeah, oh, I actually know my <laughs> job. <laughs> but um, yeah, but the management role okay. is um, it. It's all right. It mm. comes with a few, you know, ups and downs. Yeah. But it's okay. It's tough. But with me, it's uh, I don't find it hard to say no to people. She, I'll like. There's some situations we've got into, mm. and then she'll be like, "No, but I want to do it." I'm like, "No, you don't. We're not doing that." Oh, okay. If you're not getting paid, you're not doing that. You're like and Chris so, Jenner, yeah? Yeah. Is that- no, literally. <laughs> like, I'll be Chris like, we're Jenner. not doing that. That's yeah. it. And, and that's then, that? Yeah, and that's that. Do you worry about her being a female DJ in this male-dominated industry? Mm, yeah and no. Mm. Yeah, because like people, I feel like, because my sister's a soft one, mm. if I'm not around, because there's going to be some times when I'm not around, yeah. I just feel I have that fear that they'll take the mick. Mm. But if I'm next to her, then there's I no know worries. She's, yeah, no worries. Which is most of the times. Which is <laughs> basically ninety nine point nine. Yeah. But um, yeah, but she's doing her thing though. Like she's gained respect in Uganda. Literally, I see that. she gained her respect, and I was like to her before we went. Literally, we manifested it. And oh, we were like, that. you know what, Uganda, we have to go ham in Uganda to put you out there. I and saw you did. lot. Literally, like we. we said that I saw you, you lot. No, I put did. Put in the work. You know me, I pre, pre them, I pre. <laughs> <laughs> I was pre in the thing. I, I told you this. I was, I was angry that you came. I think the week that I left. Yeah. I was, I was very upset, but so, you know, life goes on. But then you lot still kept the vibe. We did. You kept we the vibe. Because we literally went there on work mode. Yeah. Like, mm. focus. I love we that. have to come back when we've left something in Uganda for people yeah, to yeah, remember yeah. us by. Mm. And they did. And you really have. Yeah. Mm. So, as a DJ, and I don't know if you are allowed to say, but what is your dream set? Like, what is what's, what, what are we working towards? What's the one place that you If I play there, my dreams come true. Honestly, mm. because, like... I genuinely want to put like Uganda on. Mm. I really want to play at Nyege Nyege. Ah, like when yeah. I play there, like I'm gonna be like, okay, I made it. You made it. And I know it's obviously gonna be bigger because Nyege Nyege is big. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's bigger. But I'm genuinely gonna be like, I made it. I that's feel like that's year. possible. It is possible. I think that's very it's possible. Very possible. Yeah. I feel like Ivan, you know, with his glasses on, I'm sure he knows a few <laughs> people. <laughs> if he can pull a few, pull a few strings. You got the vibe for Nyege Nyege. But yeah. let's put it out there. Mm. Nyege Nyege. Call the manager. Call the manager. Oh, Girls are ready. Me. Call the manager. We'll sort it out. Yes. Yeah. So, sure. would you stay there? Because I love, I want to do Nyege Nyege, but this thing of staying in tents, eh? <laughs> I, I don't, don't do know. camping. I Just don't, book I, a hotel. That's what everyone says. And it always rains. Rain. 
not. And people have their wellies, and I'm not yeah, that kind of. It's a, it's a Glastonbury kind of thing, isn't it? Uh, uh, I think I that's what they're going for. I would rather experience a Glastonbury type thing in Uganda than here. Fair yeah. enough. I yeah, see what you're saying. But <laughs> tense is not. But I feel like you have to do the tense to get the whole experience. No, mm. you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the whole experience. Yeah. Sometimes soft life, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't huh? think I could do a tent. You have to do the tent. No, you have to do the tent, you know. Because if you go to the hotel, you're a bit. Yeah. Somehow, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, you know what? Yeah, I will be that. Yeah, I will be. <laughs> you like your comfort? Yeah. Mm. No, I really want to do I mean, I've a long man. day, really. Unless you're playing, you, unless your set's in the night. Mm. Cause, yeah, there, unless, right. yeah. but I'd still go to I think you're going to do it. I genuinely see it happening. I think you're going to be on a lineup. You know what I mean? If I, if I know anybody, I'm going to pull those strings. Oh, I'd love to be there, yeah. though. Yeah, I think we should all go there. But September is just a weird month to travel to Uganda. It is, but you just go. It's not there. You're going to be there. (laughs) Such a show off, man. We're (laughs) going. We're going, eh? Okay, we'll we'll discuss. For sure. So, do you do weddings? Do you do like private functions or are you just a club uh, festival? Right now, it's been like a festival club Mm. type of person but i would love to do weddings mm. i haven't really thought that far but i would love to do weddings weddings are scary though they are. not to scare yeah. you not to no, scare no, no, you no, they are it's the I pressure know. yeah it's the it pressure because you have literally every age literally. yeah it's, judges yeah. it's, it's so you, you know to, like, cater cater for everybody, everybody. It's, it, it's not a good place to be but when you get it right ah, oh, yeah right you feel like yeah i did that i remember my first wedding and somebody came up to me and was like can you change the song and i literally just wanted to the ground to swallow me. That's the worst <laughs> thing as a DJ, right? When some, someone yeah. comes to yeah, bro, can yeah. you... But I was when enjoying. funny. I mean, you, you have to have your candy. Mm. But I remember, I remember this one wedding I played at. You know when you have family and they're young, they're teenagers and they're bugging you. Play our music. Then you have the olders and the one there, Afrigo, mm. and you're caught in between. So I used to decide to give them a set each. Yeah, that's fair. So I fair. played the set for, I, I remember that was them times of Cisco, Asha, and mm. I played a so set. Times. Yeah, and the kids danced. And one mom came to me and said, Agaka Tonda Muguru, Sida Banga Mwana Wangenga Zida It was mad. Uh, it was crazy. Yeah. Like you do something for the youngins and then the old. But I'm sure you'll manage. Because we'll I saw we'll you at manage. 256. You yeah. did Uganda music. I didn't know you do Uganda music. I thought, yeah. I genuinely thought you just am and piano. No, everyone thought that. Yeah. Oh, no, we Ugandan girl too. So you can do it. I think you can do it. Yeah. What's your worst DJing experience so far? Do you have one or has it all been oh sick? Oh, God. So I had a gig in Uganda and yeah. it was my first one at Atmosphere. Mm. And I didn't know this, which I feel like they should have told me prior to my set. Mm. So I get there and I'm like, oh, I'm excited. I'm on a like, DJ, oh my God. It's my second gig. I get on the decks. Everything's ready, everything. As I'm playing, the sound is atrocious. Like they keep putting it down. They keep filtering it. And at the end of my gig, I was like, like you know, I was a DJ when like, you just know that was not the set. Mm. Like, in my heart, I was like, this was not it. I come to find out, they're like, oh yeah, I'm really like, important high people live around here so we can't have the music playing high oh. yeah i was like are you kidding me like you should have said that from the go at least i'm prepared so that matters right yeah, yeah it does 100%, matter. okay 100 percent. because i need to hear what i'm playing back to you, mm. you know? like obviously people that come out to party they don't really care about sound some people do some people don't but as a dj that's one of the main things you should care about mm. so, yeah it's the sound so that really got me high rate i was like she was upset so how did you handle that I mean, I had to keep going. Yeah. But like in my face, you could tell. I yeah, was her not face there. was. And she literally was in my ear like. <laughs> yeah, I was like, fix your so face. you guys weren't <laughs> doing your normal. <laughs> no, 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 we still were. Oh, okay. I got but videos. Like, we still, but okay. it wasn't like you the just full tell energy. Face, yeah. Just like, smiling, keep dancing. Mm. Yeah, that was not it for me. But I feel like you need times like that, and yeah, if, and I think do. actually in that scenario, it's not even your fault. You know, right. and it will just make you a better DJ. Next time you're gonna get some, be like, do people live here? <laughs> <laughs> do rich people live here? Because if rich people live here, I am not playing at this set. But yeah, that's crazy. So, what was your favorite set in Uganda? My favorite set, oh, I think, oh, it's tied between Fragolino Branch and Chop Life. Oh, Fragolino Branch. Chop Life crowd was insane. Yeah. There was a lot of people from different 
car yeah. in America, this and that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm playing here, like for real. But Fragolino, because that was like my first one in Africa. Mm. So I'm like, okay, this is really nice. So it was probably them too. I should have gone Fragolino. I didn't manage yeah, to go. Yeah, you should have. You missed out. Oh, okay. You did. Sorry, <laughs> As I'm um, about to retire, question <laughs> for Sheila. Do you MC? Yeah, I do. Oh. I, I, I started to in Uganda. Really? Basically, do you know what? Um, and the whole me and her being on stage together started in Uganda. Mm. Because people see us in the YouTube channels together. So they're mm. like, oh, it's better if you two do it. So I was like, okay, I know the basics of DJing. So what can we do different to mm -hmm. make this stand out? So I was like, I'll be an MC, but I'm still learning how to like, because sometimes I'll have a mic and then I'll be like, uh, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? What do I say? Yeah. You should but just I'm do. Oh, because oh, oh, I, I, oh, oh. I tried to, to push you that way during the. You did, you did, but I was so nervous. Mixed like, day party. Mixed day. Yeah, I yeah was you didn't nervous. even shout me out. You didn't shout TGM. You didn't because I didn't have the mic. She, re she refused oh, she to have the mic. But yeah, then on two five six, I did have the mic. Okay. So and then did you shout us out at two five six? Now, now you're time. also an MC. Have you? Because there's a way that you dominate the the DJ set when when she's playing. Right. Mm. Have you had a, 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 a set where somebody else has tried to come into the controls? Because some DJs do that. They come into your yeah, I've mixer seen them. and mm. start changing things. Yeah, but then it wasn't in a way where like, he just came and he was like, okay, let me do that. Um, it was in Uganda. I had a DJ that was actually teaching me leading up to my gigs. So obviously when I'd mess up a little bit, he would then come and be like, hey, we just... But then it did kind of look like, okay, he's actually DJing. She's, <laughs> she's just yeah. there. So what's going on? But then after a while, I was like, okay, I think she's got this. She needs to learn from her mistakes. Mm. So I don't think I've like encountered that in like a mean I, ho way. I hope we don't. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Jesus name. You look like you're good at taking criticism. Oh, I yeah, am. we do. I have to. That's how I grow. No, that's good because a lot of people don't. They'll take that uh, personal. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't take anything personal. If it's something that you're telling me that I can change mm. I, there's no way i can take it as a negative thing no way that's good because even like in my journey like presenting mm. i get criticism all the time sometimes people say that you know i over talk or i over shout or i do this <laughs> and you gotta take it on because yeah, otherwise, you have to. And, and people will always have opinions yeah, yeah. Or something. Mm. it's just how you deal with it as long as it's constructive yeah. right yeah because then sometimes people just mm. do it just to hate but as long as I can change or not. No, that's good, man. So, like, also, obviously, back to the female, male dominated industry, yeah. have other DJs or booking people ever tried to make a pass on you or your manager? And how do you deal with not mixing <laughs> business with the pleasure? Or do you over mix? Oh, that's very easy. Uh -huh. With me, it's like, no. Just straight? Straight, no. Oh. No. Because the industry is it's very small, mm. so you don't know who knows who. By so, the way. like, and mm. by the way, Question. yeah. Mm. Can, can you tell when, when there's some BS coming? Oh, can yeah. you spot oh, it? Oh, hundreds from a mile away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you my God. Can you can just tell. Straight away. You like the red flag police, eh? Yeah. Ooh, 100%. <laughs> red flag. Very, even <laughs> from like the first two lines of a conversation, yeah, I just not. know. I so is it a straight no? Like, are you just not? You just feel like there's no point doing it, or do you give some guys a chance? No, it's just, it's, mm, it's just like. I feel like that's the way we direct the conversation. Yeah, with, mm. yeah. I see you going left. I steer back to right. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, I do this. I do that, and then. I because we were having a conversation actually on my podcast about I had this girl on that is opening a female gym, female only gym. Okay. And she was talking about the fact that guys always make a pass on her when she's gymming and da 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 da. And I was like, you know, I, I've never been one of those guys, but is it bad to move to a girl in the gym? Like, what if I'm the love of your life and I'm Do here you know doing, the, so you, know what I mean? you know what I mean? So in, same in your industry, what if this other DJ is the love of your life and you know, you don't know. But you know what, here or Uganda? I don't know, anywhere. Talk, anywhere, I, I don't feel know. Like we experienced it more in Uganda. More, yeah, like more in Uganda. Mm. Because, but the people that tried it with us in Uganda, it's like we know them and we know people that know them. Mm. So we know what BS they're on anyway. Okay. So it's like... A lot yeah, of BS. A lot of BS. We don't like there. BS. No, we just yeah. <laughs> straight focused on work and work only. Hey, you lot, I like your work ethic. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, should we say hello to Richie since he's hello, decided hi, to show up? Hey, Richie. How are you? <laughs> I'm all right, guys. How you looking? Mm. Good, thank you. 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 Good, thank
Storage. Yeah, we like it. Just for time, for now, we are going to be your focus. Now, eh? But you are going to be your Very soon, very soon. It has to be, eh? Yeah. But uh, nice to join you guys today. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very welcome. We are going to be your focus. It has been a minute. It's been a minute. It has. We have a, I need you to say your famous line because we haven't heard it for a long time. Oh, energy. Ah, come on, Richie. <laughs> First time, I got you. I'm going to go to the intro. 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 I'm going to go to the Just do your one real quick to work with you. It's a Friday. Come yeah. on, Jay. Energy. Yeah, Friday. Energy. Finally, that's what I wanted to hear. Yeah. All right, I'm going to switch up the conversation real quick. Yeah. Because um, we were talking about something on the side there. And obviously, you lot went to Uganda. Yeah. Did you notice a lot of people wearing designer brands? Yes. <laughs> I even noticed a LV Cavera. Well, LV Cavera? Bro. No. I, I don't did. believe you. Balenciaga, Caveras. Caveras every, all when? What season? I have never in my life seen so much designer. Like, yeah, there's a lot of design in Uganda. Mm hmm. So what is our viewpoint of this, this so-called designer? Because someone said they saw Dwa. Dwa. <laughs> Head over the your bag, they saw a Dwa bag. And people were rocking it confidently. Yeah. So well, somebody yeah. online was saying that if you can't afford the real thing, just stick to whatever you can afford. What's, yeah. what's you lot's views on all I this? Had, um, fake it. I've got <laughs> fake it till you make it. Yes. No. Yes. I have a friend in Uganda and he was like, he was like to me, oh, um, I'd rather wear um, Nike mm. than go out and wear fake um, mm. designer because that's embarrassing. Mm. But to me, it's like, do you? But it's the way I, they wear it with confidence. So like, so confident. It, but like, it makes them happy. So, so if it makes them happy, you just leave them. Yeah, hey, fake it. <laughs> why, 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 you, why you suffer? Eh? Why you suffer? Eh? Hey. Spending all that money. Uh -huh. um, you know, Omuganda Gamba. Uh -huh. This is why we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we missed you. What my educators? Omu Omu wa koma. Uh huh. Wa uh -huh. I love that. So. If your own soul eh. is nimpi, eh -huh. hey, mm -hmm. if it makes you happy, mm. I like that. Richie. Why not? No. Yeah. yeah. So would you guys date someone that, and then you clock that his, his trainers are fake? <laughs> would you? Would you date a girl? Would you? <laughs> would I? I wouldn't. Because to me, it's like why force the thing? Yeah. Hey, the Uganda, you can never know. No, in Shimani. That's why I'm asking. I'm over asking here. Um, I, I don't think so. I'm not into designer anyway. So. Are you not? How comes? It's just not. Because I know you got me. the money and cool, but it's not for that. But I, it's just not been for me, really. No? I've just never been into designer. If I'm going to have designer something, it's going to just be a bag and that's it. What kind of bag? Well, like a uh, LV. Oh. And that's it. Don't be telling me uh, like you don't I have think that already. Is it? Like, why should be. Like, what about you? Are you into designer? <laughs> Or like in Cartier terms, and stuff. Yeah, in terms of clothes, you can go on, let's say, I don't know, pretty little thing and make a bad mm. outfit. Mm. Yeah. No designer. With no designer. Mm. God, like, but it's easier for women, isn't it, Richie? Yeah, yes, yes. I'm not going to do a designer. I'm going to do a designer. Are you not Balenciaga trainers? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. Look, personally, I'm going to do a designer. Right. Mm. Yeah. 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 I just, I look at something. Mm. You watch him prime, Mark. Mm. If it looks nice to mm. me, Okay. You buy it. Yeah. If it looks nice, okay. Because there's some designer stuff that people buy for the name and it's it doesn't look nice. Yeah, it's just so embarrassing. Weird. Do you know what? I think because of my upbringing. A uh, designer. Mm, Dio, Dio. Designer. <laughs> <laughs> Dio, Mr. Dio. Guys, I suffered. Real talk. I suffered. <laughs> I was wearing hand me downs like year 10, year 11. No. I got my first new pair of night trainers in year 10. Yeah. Damn. So I always said to myself, when do you feel nice saying it? Huh. I'm gonna go out and it's been very bad. Cause I've got like over a hundred pairs of trainers. What? Yeah, it's really bad. And you've What's worn them all? No, I even have some that I haven't worn. It's bad, but it's because of that, that yeah. mind thing that, oh, I've been wearing hand-me-downs. So I used to get, not bullied because I was, I was big in it, but you get the little comments, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. I'm size 10, squeezing it to size eight, you know? I'm, it was a big struggle, by mm. the way, very big struggle. I've still got the bunions <laughs> to prove it. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
So now it's like I can't help it, and because I love fashion as well. Yeah. You explain. You explain the two food de wala phrase. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> de wala. De wala you guys should see my throwbacks. So yeah, unfortunately, I I'm in love with design. It's a bad thing. I'm trying my best. I really love it. Yeah, it's it is bad. bad because it's expensive. Okay. okay. And then now, cost of living crisis, mm. inflation. Yeah. Now yeah. yeah. you can afford. Yeah, you just sell your trainers. And you do that. you don't wear. Ah, guys, I don't like. I'm very possessive over everything. The women that I have. Hey. 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 The trainers hey. that I have. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. No, but real talk, with my stuff, like especially my trainers, I don't yeah. like selling them. I don't know what's. I, I'd rather. I don't know what's wrong with me. You're older. Uh, yeah, I am. Yeah. No, guys, I need help. I you so. do. Is that something you guys can help with? Off, help off camera, off camera. Yeah. Yeah. Deep yeah. up. Okay, yeah, we'll yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? She's yeah? Oh, ah, we'll over talk after yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got to go into a break real quick. But guys, it's Kampala Drive. Chichi You know you <laughs> always do that. Nkwaso wa managers nzaba gulire ngato. We'll talk. Okay, we're gonna go into a quick break, guys. Chokarichi. <laughs> Kudigida, kuchakala, kusanyuka kukesa ude. Kudigida, kuchakala, kusanyuka kukesa ude. Mama. Hey, hey, hey. 
manyono tai na yo ya chama choi no manyono kapo ya pia ya wamba choi no manyo gwe choi no manyo gwe choi no manyo gwe 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 choi no manyo kapo ya pia wamba ono mwana tai na na we ya chama choi no manyo mutima go ya wamba pita baby na kuro mwana sheba crystal panda brand new remix choi no manyo queen sheba panda lyrics kanu dj kateke mu mix ako bebe kulo kanu teka kulest when sheba remix Hey, we're back. We're live. It's Kampala Drive. You know, we're here to get your weekend started. Sponsored by Afro Vibes Limited. I'm here, obviously, with our special guest, the Ugandan babe, hi. Sheila K. And hi, hi. are you a guest or are you back? I don't know. Are you back or are you a guest? I'm back. I'm back. You're back. Okay, okay. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're AM Richie in the building. Where have you been? Everyone's been asking us. They want to know what's been happening with you. You know, life has been lifing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we have to balance. Mm -hmm. So right. I've balanced. Yeah, but it seems you've been off balance because <laughs> you haven't been here. So what kind of balancing is this? I was balancing school. Oh, um, work. Bambi, where we some uh, responsibilities. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, denga. To come here, to simple day. It's funny so cool. At the end of new month. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fire. Did any of you do any April Fool's jokes today? No. No that's pregnant that's ones. Now. No. I think the pregnant that's ones like have died that's out now. Yeah, that's how you know we're grown up now. I mm. believe that you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I would, and then I'll There's get mad. There's still time. <laughs> 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 it's eight now. I think it's done. Guys, I used to get them all the time, and I'm yeah, so of, gullible. Of oh, stop. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, was your, what's that reaction? Don't you can ogre my one on a lineage to Caesar? Ah, ah, this is a safe place. Yeah, it is. It's very safe. Okay, so don't mention names. No, no, yeah. I won't mention names, but okay, so there's one time I was 15. 15. Yeah, 15. <laughs> fire, my God. I was 15, and it was eight, 1st of April. I'll never forget this in my life. The girl came and said, Yeah, you know, Nang, I haven't seen my time of the month. I, I said, Go and find it. <laughs> 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 if you ever see it, you better go and find it. <laughs> I'm 15. I've just come back from Uganda. You know, I've bus case the way I've seen it. Yeah. I've managed to come back. And now I've got someone pregnant. Like, my dad is going to kill me. And then she's like, da, 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 da. Then later on, she's like, oh, April Fool's. I'm like, oh, don't run those jokes on me. Da, da. Anyway, a week later, she goes, she goes, no, seriously, I actually now have not. It actually has not come. Guys, I cried real tears. That's, I'll never forget <laughs> the feeling of like, my dad is going, I'm 15. You're going back. Australia. Yeah, yeah, back. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm flight. definitely going back. And she was talking about obviously she wanted to keep it. I'm like, but we're 15. Now. How are we going to, you know, <laughs> yeah. raise a child? But the girl's like, no, we'll get married. You know, she had all these Cinderella <laughs> dreams, I call them. Eh? And I'm just like, Yo, but <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Why is that speed fast? <laughs> Guys, it was <laughs> peer pressure. Do you know that's, that's the issue? <laughs> that? uh, uh, no, Richie, it was by me. I've come back from Uganda. Already people you don't want to be known as the bush one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm trying to show the man them that nah, like I can get things, yeah. yeah. So I never it was actually at a house party. Them days people were wild. Yeah, very <laughs> reckless. You're just doing a house party, people are walking in, walking out, it's not an issue. Like you just <laughs> <laughs> so that's where it happened like it was peer pressure and yeah them days like there wasn't no oh where you know protection so yeah but the pregnancy didn't work out so and you're here now yeah now yeah, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, now this is where we're at so yeah. April Fool's for me I try to avoid it because I get PTSD when I think about <laughs> that situation <laughs> yeah, but um, speaking of Uganda you lot also got sent back to Uganda Oh, not sent back, but you went back. But we went back. We okay. did go back, yeah. So how was that? Like, it how was, was that good. like? We went to boarding school, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Heard of boarding school. I've very heard of Taipei International. International. You, you rich kids there. Yeah. You rich kids. Uh, 
Rich kids, yeah, but that place? Yeah. Tawali, Tawali, nothing. Really? I mean, nothing. A lot happened. Yeah. This is insane. What was crazy about it? Because I hear a lot about Taiba, but obviously I never went to an international school. It was just crazy. Like, there's a time they found a big snake, in the, a python in the forest. And imagine what they did. They cut the, the, skin. the skin off, apparently. Not and apparently, girl. They did that. Well, they did. They skinned it alive and they and laid out, they the, skin laid out the skin us. to show us. That I was so sure. Who is they? The teachers. the teachers. Like, they were trying to scare us. Yeah, if you go in the forest, this, this is, is what's, what's going to happen. Hey, you people are going into the forest, it seems. Nah, not to us. Yeah? Just that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's Why did you go to the forest? Not us. That place was too much. Is it? Like, if you're yeah. naughty, obviously in Uganda, mm. boarding school, like, they'll make you scrub the big pot. Yeah. Like, so you can imagine there's so many students. In Taiba? I thought it was if soft you on you guys. No. If you had one fight, you're scrubbing the You're pots, in the right? kitchen scrubbing the pots. That, and they're huge. Like they <laughs> like that could be a twa itam in there. That's what I'm it's thinking. It's just no hitting. It's just that's the only thing that we didn't get. Like the teacher couldn't hit. Us. With chalk on my head. <laughs> that's all you I got. Will find that. <laughs> <laughs> him, that was very traumatizing. Why did she do that? Or he? I wasn't listening, and he decided he would run across the table and just. Smack yeah, we had one one teacher that would run across the teacher um Stephen. Yeah, mm. he would insane. run across the tables. Oh my you god. What Stephen's on now? Have you? Did you go check no. him? No. I so, actually went back to my school. Sam. Just to see what it's like, yeah. Wanted I right wanted now. to do that, but the time was the crazy. Was too busy. Anymore. When yeah. I go back, uh -huh. I'd, I'd be like, "Me gundi, are you on You know, you know. Sometimes I just sit there and be like, you know, they're now old, yeah. Yeah. aged. That I'd be like, "Me gundi, are you what bag if you go?" Come on, you must have a story. I'm like, yeah, yeah, all my stories revolve around girls. I don't know what it is with me and girls. Oh yeah. my yeah. girls. So I. <laughs> I like this girl, but in our school, the girls' dormitory was on the other side to the boys' dormitory. So I used to no, pass. No, I fence, I come out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we man, you, Richie. So I used to pass letters across to let the girl them know what I was feeling, right? So one guy intercepted my letter, yeah, and he's actually my good friend, but back then we were enemies. <laughs> so he intercepted the letter, he gave it to the teacher, yeah. So the teacher got it, and then in assembly, they called out my name, read out the letter. To everybody. to everybody. At least they helped you read. What it. did it say? <laughs> I don't remember, but it would have been some corny stuff. Because I used to like write poetry and stuff. So it'd probably oh. be something corny, like roses are red, violets are blue. Bagam, you you ah, you <laughs> he read it and then I think it was like twenty strokes. Oh, but every stroke is like, You're here writing love letters. Your father sent you to study. You are here writing love letters to women. <laughs> The maddest thing is, when I went back, he is in Luzida for molesting a child at the school. Ooh. So plot twist. Sorry, trigger yeah. warning. Trigger. Sorry, should have said that. Sorry, but do you see, maybe he might have liked the thing that mm. yeah, was, you know. that you were trying to, yeah. Mm. yeah. They, they were there, yeah. by the way, secondary school, eh? Yeah. 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 But teacher, eh? Yeah. Yeah. It's not right. It's yeah. not right. Yeah, crazy. big bad thing. Like, and uh, that traumatized me. Because it might the whole school. I'm talking P1 to P7. P. P. Bro. I was in primary school. P1. Primary hey, what's school. the problem? P1 to P7. Like, Wait, this was my trauma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No, trauma. I wasn't in P1. I was in P6. <laughs> <laughs> what? Was that soon? Yeah. Too soon? Too soon. What do you know about love? Guys, when did you start liking girls? I was on things, bro. Yeah, you're crazy. Bro, P. P. I had you speaking love letters. And then there was about Poetry senior two. Okay, but guys, I forgot to add the context. I got put back because okay. I was from here. Oh, so no. I was supposed to be in... Yeah, they, bro. P. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you're making me feel like I developed early. Yeah, you did. Ah, did I? So when did you guys start having feelings for the opposite per people? Oh, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, P6 as well. No, P7. P7. Oh, yeah, yeah, really P7. Cool. No, P7. it's cool. Yeah. Believe you, but do you get what I'm going to be called? Senior. Senior? Yeah, senior. But P, poetry in... 
in yeah. primary school. Proper Pro- Michael Angelo poetry, Luke. guys. By the way, Luke, approaching. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. approaching and be like, let me do this. Yeah. Was senior once, maybe. Serious. Ne, feeling you get them, you start yeah. Yeah. wanting to be best friends. Ah, yeah. best friends. Why you get jealous, someone? Ne? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> No one's out counting. No one's Irish. <laughs> and you start, and you start being like, don't talk to him. Uh, you're, my, yeah. you're my best friend. Yeah. Uh, you, you know, there these things of girlfriend, bro. Guys, I was on site. But to be fair, it's probably because of my dad. I'm one of sixteen, and I remember just growing up. Every other day, a new woman was coming into the yard. So maybe it was that. Probably. I thought I took time. Eh? Mm-hmm. You don't rushed it, rush. darling. <laughs> Munang, that's my history. So do you lot never got beaten at all? No, not in school, no. Oh. Outside school? By my mum. Mum or in Uganda? Yeah, like. I used to fight. Is it? What did she use? Me, I've been hit so by bad. books. <laughs> A remote a has been re- chucked oh, at my head. Uh, yeah. yeah, and then you get that. Yeah. Have you ever tried to fight back? Oh. <laughs> no, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I have. Uh, uh, that even uh, gets them more mad. No, no, One no. time I did. I literally got my singer's hand like this in the air. And she's like, eh? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, eh? Hey, hey. <laughs> Uh, that was I was going to say yeah. that bit of Kali and Kuba. I was praying one day one teacher tells me that. Yeah. <laughs> there was this English teacher. Yeah, uh-huh. that whenever he marks your papers, he puts a star where you messed up. Walk we and Bongo Babichi puts a star. I think I will start giving me guess at. I think if you find that question, we go start start. That's nice. <laughs> there was a day when I can saba and I'm be Kali and Kuba. I would. Are you serious, Richie? Was he taller than you? Taller, bigger. Now you're gonna mukuba. Now you're gonna abakunga mbakari yonkuba. Yeah, go muzi sam. I would. I would. I would. Go na go mubut. But guys, it's actually traumatic oh, if it you is. deep it. It is. It is. Like if you deep, like when I think back at it, it's like, bro, like I was getting caned for one time. I got ninety nine and a hundred on a math test, and I got caned for it because I, I I messed up on one question. You know what I mean? Really There's a day I got 96. When I got number one, mm. I was Kane. Do you know, do you know, Massively. I number one. Oh, go tell number one. Oh, take it out. That's what they were saying. And you go out because you love letters. You feel like you love letters. And it's just like, bro, I got 99. That's insane. I feel like them teachers were just angry. They Definitely. had something bothering them because how can you hit someone's kid Someone like that? Someone was trying to that. learn at that. Proper. But I think with me, it was a stigma of I have a he thinks he's better than everyone else. So the teachers just always were on to me. What's your accent? That's what I was going to ask. The English. You know what I mean? When I'm in Uganda, my accent changes. No, I'm not Yeah, no, Luri. So, yes, the first few months. But then as I got there... I'm not going to ask you. I'm not going to ask you. <laughs> no, for real, because the first time I saw Kawunga and Midyaja, I said, I'm in prison. Yeah. I said, yeah. I'm not eating. I went on a hunger strike for two days. And I remember the teacher telling me, no, no. Or Now it's my favorite food. I know. I absolutely yeah. love it. Because then Posho like, put you to sleep. Honestly, it's to sleep. amazing. It does, it does. I love Posho and Kawunga. I'm actually even going to have it today. Posho and Kawunga. <laughs> Posho and Kawunga. In Kawunga, Burundi. The init has come. The init. Mu Matoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, can. Yeah? Yeah, I can. I can. Why, she? I'm trying to learn. Please. I, Cause I, I, I had to learn as well. Well, you know how to You know, yeah? Mm. Properly. I was going to Bodichim. offer to teach you. I don't know. I know everything. The only thing I don't cook is in busy. Kanga Sidia. Sidia and busy. Yeah, we don't mm. eat But everything else, I can do it. Really? Yeah. One thing I'm trying to perfect is Oksibo Oh, yeah. The I can, like, yeah, the way they can wrap it. I can, I can do it, but mine's a bit finicky, you know. It's not. Omanyo kuni get talking. Omanyo kuni get talking. Omanyo kufuma pirao. Yes, but not as good as the Avasidam. Oh, yeah, I've tried to perfect it, you know, but I went to one Kwanjula and that one was just A1. You know, it's A1. Like it's Muslims do it best. Yeah, Facts. They do. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. But I need to learn their recipe. Hey, but guys, we could talk forever, but we actually come to the end. Which is have so we? sad. Have we, we have, yes, because we need the Uganda babe to close with her set. I'm you know closing. what I mean? You are closing. You're over closing. You are closing. Yeah, yeah, you are closing. You open and then you close. Ah, mm-hmm. I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> so before you go, do open you want to close? <laughs> 
plug yourself, plug your socials, let the people know where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, TikTok at the Ugandan Babe with two mm. E's. The Ugandan. So how do we pronounce it, baby? Babe. It's you still know when babe. I was in Uganda, they're like the Ugandan baby. I said that's the Ugandan babe. The Ugandan babe. I'm going to Ugandan babe. The Ugandan babe. I love to hear it. What about you, manager? Uh, uh, Uganda, what you know? Ugandan baby. The Ugandan baby. No, but come on. Do you not think that that bags though? You got the baby. No, <laughs> so you got the baby. Yeah, but not here. Yeah, nah. Oh, what about you, man, manager? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, Sheila K. Sheila K. What does the K stand for? Kamanyiro. Do you know what? Because um, people that know my government name, mm. I'm not going to say it. Mm. I just needed an easy name that people can remember. Fair enough. Sheila K. You can remember that. Can we guess? Go on. Like you, you will never, never ever in your life. Is it? <coughs> oh, I need to find out what it is now. I don't need that gun, but I am. Is it? Is that it? Why did your face light up like that? No, it's not. Oh, I thought you got it right. <laughs> okay, to be to continued, guys. Yeah. We'll find out continued. her name. You will not. But thank you for coming on. You've been so dope. Like thank conversation you for was having so us. Dope. I wish I'm nyege nyege this year. We're manifesting it. We are. Yeah. You're gonna be on the set. For sure. Guys, that was Kampala Drive. Join us again next Friday as we get your weekend started. Every weekend, as always, sponsored by Afro Vibes Limited. Please enjoy your weekend. And we're out. Peace. Ciao. <laughs>